street maps. Now, a lot of cars these days have GPS and a lot of our phones, we've got Google Maps, but uh, every so often these let us down. It is important to be able to read a map, um, even if it's just double checking that Google Maps isn't sending you the wrong way, which sometimes happens. Uh, sometimes we end up out of uh, range. Very important to still know how to read a map. So street maps have a grid coordinate system to help us locate things. So usually we read it by reading the letter that it lines up with and then the number that it lines up with. So here I've got a map of the Cronulla area in Sydney. So for starters, name a public utility at F8. So we go to F, we go to 8, and we scroll down until we get into that square. And we can see there's a bunch of different options. There's a playground. Probably that means there's a barbecue, this little fire symbol, and there's toilets. So any of those would be fine. And you can see how we use the coordinate system. Uh, Cecil Street is somewhere north of Cronulla Park. So there's Cronulla Park. Ah, there's Cecil Street. And, oh, Cecil Monroe Avenue, actually, I'm sorry. I wasn't reading it correctly. Um, give its coordinates. Now here, you'll see it's kind of in between H and J. And you just take the one that it's mostly in. Or if you're not certain, take the one where its name is. So this would probably be J5. Now, here's a phrase that we might need to explain. What direction is it as the crow flies from the RSL at J7 to Cecil Street? Now, as the crow flies, weirdly means in a straight direction, so not going by the road. So from Cecil to the RSL at J7, so down here, picture yourself putting a little north, south, east, west on the spot where we're going from. And I'm actually going to draw it in, but you don't need to. That's north. So that goes where we're going from. So from, oh, we're going from the RSL. That was my bad. There's the RSL. From the RSL, what direction is it to Cecil Street? It's going north. My bad there, I'm sorry. So, if they say as the crow flies, just in a straight direction. Roughly how far is it from the RSL to Cecil Monroe Avenue or Cecil Street as the crow flies or by road? Now to work out how far, we will need to read a scale. And scales can be given in a couple of different ways. A scale of 1 to 9,500. 1 to 9,500. This sort of scale is often seen on maps, and it's the map to real life. And they're saying any unit on the map, one of those on the map is 9,500 of those in real life. But often they'll also give a scale where they say this much distance on the map is 250 meters. So that one's often a little bit easier because you can measure how much that is. That's 2.6 centimeters and use that. Or Sometimes they'll say what one centimeter is, and they've mentioned this in the textbook, and I've photocopied it to the correct size. If that's one centimeter, then this is 9,500 centimeters, and dividing that by 100 says one centimeter is 95 meters. So that's a really useful scale there. When you've got a map scale, just say, well, those are both centimeters, and then let's make that something a little bit more reasonable. So one centimetre is 95 metres on all of these. Now, as the crow flies from the RSL to Cecil Avenue in a straight line is about 3.4 centimetres. Oh, 
on the map. And we need to multiply that by 95 to get that answer in meters. And I didn't bring my calculator, so I'm going to round and say, look, that's about 100 meters, but I'm cheating a little bit there. And so it's approximately times 100, 340 meters by road. Now the road curves around and actually one of the best ways of getting a measurement of a curved thing on a map is using a piece of string or a chain from your necklace or even just a thin piece of paper. If you place your paper carefully so that it follows the road and we do have to get a little bit fiddly and you can put some bends in it and there we are at the RSL and then from where we got to in that length stretch it out measure it that's four and a half centimeters on the map so times roughly a hundred about 450 meters by road so there's a couple of little skills to reading a map and working out distance and we don't have to be too accurate because it's all quite based on an estimate but you would be better off multiplying by 95 I just didn't bring a calculator